go. So today I'm doing a little bit of a vlog. I'm going off down to the Stadium of Light. I'm going to do a lap of the Stadium of Light. I'm going to record me time and see how fast I can do it. I may need one or two warm-up laps first before I blast one. Like I can blast one at the age of 49. And then we'll have a chat about Sunderland about is the league finished? Is the league going to be completed? Or is it going to be like just a disappointment like usual? Are we going to be staying in League 1 next season? The odds are we're 99% certain to be staying in League 1 next season. But is it really fair? Is it fair on some teams? I agree with Tyler Rowlandson on Charlton Vlogs. That's his own channel. He says Charlton's been in the bottom three for one day. Is it one day? Or a couple of days? And they're going to get relegated because of PPS. Is it PPS? Points per, points per game? PPG? Points per game. That's it. So... And I'm going to go to Hawthorne Beach, to one of my own little training grounds and see what the crack is these days. Right, I'm off to Sainsbury's first because I need some air in my tyre and we'll catch you in a bit. Well, here we go, back again with another video and I'm heading off to the Stadium I Light. Yes, the Stadium I Light. I'm going to do a few laps of social distancing exercise around the Stadium I Light. I'm going to do a couple of warm-up laps and I'm going to do a blast lap. Whether I can blast a lap at this age and this I'm not, I'm not that fit at this moment in time, speed wise, I will give it a go anyway and we'll see the old stadium I like, we haven't seen it for a long long time. Anybody out there who's missing going to the matches, who's missing match day, please give this video a like, it'd be much appreciated and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, thank you very much. I can see the sol in the distance. Yes, this stadium of light. We haven't seen this for a very, very long time. And will we see it again for a very long time? Because we could be having all of next season with no matches at all. People stadium going to the ground, watching the match, attending the games. It's going to be a difficult time. But will this season end? Will the season come to a conclusion? Will they finish all the matches? Or will they just do let do in League 2? It's going to be difficult to change the system because League 2 is finished where you have the top three going up, the next four in the playoffs. Are they going to do the same in League 1? Which would be really, really unfair on Peterborough because Peterborough would miss out and Le Wickham, somehow Wickham would jump above Peterborough. It's absolutely bizarre to say, oh yes, Wickham are going to go and beat Coventry, their game in hand, so they're going to jump above Peterborough, which is really difficult. They should do what Tyler said. Tyler, Rollinson's vlogs, Charlton Athletic fan, he feels upset because Charlton are also, have only been in the bottom three for like one day, and they could get relegated under this PPG, points per game system, that's what it is. Ended up with a PPG, which means Charlton will go down, Barnsley will go down, Luton will go down. The three teams that got promoted last season are the three teams that are going down out of the championship. Unless they do some kind of mini league for the playoffs. Yes, a mini league where the top two go up, Coventry go up and Rotherham go up. But then the next eight play a mini league, which means Sunderland will be in a mini league. We're going over the Weir Bridge, yes, the majestic, marvellous, wonderful Weir Bridge, yes, where those noisy neighbours up the northeast, the Geordies, pinched it and decided to call theirs you know, the Tyne Bridge. Yes, obviously, the Weir Bridge was built millions of years ago, miles before the Tyne Bridge. We all know that, it's a fact. It's on Wikipedia. Anyway, we're heading towards the stadium, I light. Everybody knows it's just a bit of banter, a bit of fun. We all love each other, really. And yes, football, no more social gatherings at football. So will Sunderland be in League One next season? It really does. I really do think they're going to be in League One next season, which is it's a, it's a bit disappointing, to be fair. It's very disappointing. It is now here we go, we're heading towards the Stadium of Light. We're going over this little bridge here and we can see the stadium on the left hand side. It's been a while, I'm getting the shakes, I'm getting nervous, I'm getting excited. Excited is not even match day. But yes, we're heading towards the, the Colliery Tavern. Oh, the Colliery Tavern, usually on match day. That is absolutely bouncing and buzzing, but unfortunately today it looks like it's closed because everywhere is closed. Let's have a swift left and head towards. Yes, there's the Hilton, the Hilton Hotel where we go for a pint, me and Wincy before the match. And there's the lamp. Yes, now we're going to head and find somewhere to park. I'm going to head off down towards the shop. I don't know if I can go that way, but I will go that way anyway and have a look around. There's the ticket 
off is the black cat's tail off his yes and there she is the stadium of light i say a she i don't know why it's a she it could be a he it's a bit strange we're going to head off down towards yeah so on the back where the, where the, where the shop is and now mate if, if it's safe to park the car park the car there and then we'll go for a little run around the stadium and i'll show you the rules and regulations it's a windy day it's blowing a holy today now I do think that the, the league will come, to, come to a conclusion very shortly and there will be no more, yes, there will be no more football this season for Sunderland Association Football Club which is very disappointing and there's some people over here taking photographs or taking some sort of, well what they're doing are they videotaping the stadium, I like they come for a day out, I hope they're social distancing, yes they seem to be in a distance and they are videotaping the whole stadium, I'll have a drive around this side, see what's going on I will, I will start and finish at the statue, yes the statue yeah I think you can get out here, look where can I park the car I'm going to just park the car around down where the ticket office I think yes we'll, we'll go we'll do a full lap of the stadium this is what it's like the Charlie Hurley centre is just there and yeah we'll do a full lap of the stadium hopefully I can get back in this way there we go and there's the Bob Stoke or statue in the distance I'm going to do a full lap of this I've got a full blast I'll do a couple of laps warm up in the windy conditions and then I'll try and do a fast lap and I'll give you the result of my time afterwards and anybody else out there who wants to give it a go and try and run round faster than me then they're welcome yes there's the Love Supreme on the right hand side and we did a full lap there's a ticket office there's a couple of cars parked in the ticket office am I allowed to park in there why not I'm going for a run I don't see it's going to what harm it's going to do so yep the season's going to be finished I know it is it's going to be ended the, the top two are going to go up and then we're going to have a, a playoffs of four as they do I think I'm going to park in here because there's no reason why I can't because the barriers are up and there's the old Hilton Hotel right we'll catch you in a bit I'm going to do a couple of blasts well here we go outside the stadium of light well the season could end this week and Sunderland will have another season in league one and next season could be behind closed doors no fans allowed at the stadium of light and you'll miss you know the excitement and the scenes remember scenes like this at the stadium of light <laughs> They could be few and far between next couple of seasons but I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll be in league one next season which is really disappointing if we didn't leave that didn't let that last second goal in against Gillingham yes the last second goal against Gillingham we will be in the top six and we will probably go in a mini playoff in a, in a few weeks time or even a month or so's time because the top two is probably going to go up then the next four will be in a mini playoff and the next Peter Bear and Sunderland will miss out so will the season come to an end this week you know i really i mean the end of the day we don't deserve to go after that last minute goal against Gillingham, dropping three points against bristol rovers dropping two points against fleetwood you know three matches seven points dropped pretty pathetic really to be honest that was the three games that we threw this season away and Stuart Donald can he find a new buyer next season we hopefully he can find a buyer he's desperate for Sunderland to stay you know in this sort of mini league of eight to try and get into the championship because Sunderland will be worth more money selling the club in the championship than it will be in league one he's absolutely broke at this moment in time I mean next season again in league one is it a massive disappointment this season's been a big disappointment to be fair Stuart Dunton wanted 100 and odd points. He said, oh, we'll have 100 and odd points this season. Nowhere near. We're not even in the playoffs. And after 37 games, we're not inside the playoffs. We don't deserve to go up, simple as. So we have to hope that somehow we can find some sort of vaccine so we can make it back to the stadium alike like next season and see, hopefully with a new owner, or even with some sort of money pumped into this by some sort of investors, and we can actually get some players who can take us back to the championship. So... End of the day, it is a bit of doom and gloom that we're in League One next season, but we have to look real positive. You know, as long as everybody out there stays safe, stays sound, stays safe and sound, and get back to the stadium like in a couple of seasons' time when we can go and watch matches yet again. I know we all want John McLaughlin to stay next season, but let's face it, if someone in the championship comes in for you, 
you're going to go on here rather than staying in League One. You want to get paid more money in the Championship rather than playing another season in League One, where basically this is what Sunderland deserve League One next season. Next season. But if it's somehow a mini League of Eight, I will bite the hands off. I will take it. A mini League of Eight. We've got a small chance of getting promoted, but for me, that's only like a two percent, eighty, ninety-eight percent chance Sunderland are in League One next season, and a two percent chance of some kind of miracle mini League. Right? I'm off for a run. We'll see you in a bit. You're starting the Bob Stoke or statue to a full lap, here we go. Just steady away. Three quarter pace. Stay on the road. Watch out for the cars. Well, it's a bit breezy. Time of 251. <sighs> we'll round it up to 250. And I really need wa more warm up before I do that. <sighs> and definitely more speed work. It's been a while since I blasted a short distance. And it's blown a gear down towards the gates. Absolutely shattered. Well, I'm off down Hawthorne Beach now, Hawthorne Dean, to do a proper run, and we'll see you down there. I'm about to go down Hawthorne Dean for me run down to the beach. Yes, yeah, a good probably five or six mile run. I'll probably do it today. Couple of shout outs: Chaz Studios on YouTube, Sunderland underscore fan underscore account underscore, and Kano on YouTube. The Sunderland fan one is on Instagram. Now the problem with League One is you finish the season early. Clubs who can afford to play on like your Sunderland, your Ipswich, your Portsmouth, your Coventry, your Rotherhams, those kind of teams who are like Championship, Premier League teams, you know, in the future. Them teams want the season to continue, but then there's teams further down in the league that won't be able to find it very easy to continue the season. They'll have financial difficulties. So there's like two 
leagues in one. So would it be fair to, for the teams who don't want to continue because of financial reasons not to continue and the teams who want to continue in a mini league to continue in a mini league but have your Coventry's and your Rotherham's promoted anyway and have one more place up for grabs. So like, for instance, your eight small teams in the mini league or even a few more teams that want to continue who financially can afford to afford to continue but want to continue because they want to get promoted to the championship now would that be fair and it, 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 it's a big you know it, it, it's a can of the warm the can of worms the afl is going to uh, <clears throat> the afl have warmed the can of worms it's going to be difficult to decide this like i say some teams want to continue and some don't what's your thoughts do you think we should continue. The teams that want to continue in the mini league, should they be allowed to continue? There's all the testing has to be done. That's expensive as well, taking into consideration. Right? There's a lot to think about. But it's, it's going to, I think now, it's going to be a while before it's sorted. I said this week, but now I'm thinking about it. I've been, I've been a little run before. And when I go for a run, when I go for a run, I do a lot of thinking. And I'm thinking, yeah, teams that want to finish the season because they can't afford to, should be allowed to, but teams that want to continue the season because they want to get promoted and can afford to continue the season probably should be allowed to. As long as the right testing is done, they have the kits there and everyone's going to be safe and sound and social distancing is taking place. The same as they're going to do in the Premier League, the same as doing in the Bundesliga. If the money's there, we don't know. Right, I'm going for a run down Hawthorne now and I'll find a few lovely beauty spots for you to take in and soak up. Well, here we go. been about 15 years since I've been running down here. Hawthorne Dean Nature Reserve, absolute beautiful spot. I'm going to take some absolutely wonderful views down by the beach. Here we are at one of the new crossings at Hawthorne. Never used to be here. 17 years ago was the last time, sun green. 17 years ago was the last time I was actually running along these lines. To the right we have Easton Beach where yesterday, to the left we have Dorden Beach, we actually have Hawthorne Beach now, this is all new. There's some views of the beach, let's get further down here, far down as I can get. get that wind out of sight, there we have, again, there's the rock in the distance now, that's the rock. You can see it, get across here a bit. Oh. Oh. How far can I get down here? Ah, quite far down. There we have it. That's the rock in the distance you could see from the other side where I was. And look at down there. It's a nice place. There's the viaduct in the distance. This is Hawthorne Beach. It used to be, I'm sure that's Hawthorne. I think I'm what it's called now. It wasn't Hawthorne Cove, but it was some place you used to go fishing. Now that bit, that rock there, is probably where you used to go fishing off. I can get further down. Nah, that's it. So I have to continue my run. I've done 10 minutes so far, which is nowhere near enough, but I thought I'd take in. Oh, someone's been having a Stella. Well, after a run like the day, I don't think I'll be having a Stella because I don't like Stella, but I would fancy some other kind of beverage. So I will get blown off of you. And he dropped down there. If we don't want to fall down there, do we? People down the beach fishing. This is Dorn Beach. That used to be the clip, as you can tell, it's blown again up here, they get blown off. But it's class, what a class day out, what a class run, fresh air. Yeah. And there's an old World War II bunker overhead, if you can see it. Being open for a long time. I know a lot of young ones like to come down here on the bikes and have a blast around on the bikes, but obviously you can't get in this way. But I will go and try and find a way around the top of the cliffs. 
find a bit of graffiti in there, so and it's blowing an absolute deal again. Sorry about the conditions, but I can't help that. Let's go and find a way along the top somewhere. Oh dear. There we have Hawthorne Blast Query. I bet it's been a while since it's been in use. Never been this way before for a run. Don't think I've been this way even back in the 90s. So I'm treading on new ground. Let's see where it takes us. And there's some strange looking cows. Have a look, close look at these cows. Yes, fancy ones, black and white. <laughs> Yes, here we go, running around again. I haven't been that far to be fair, even though I did do a bit of the stadium of light. I haven't been that far around Hawthorne, the beach and that. You know, it's not the same I'm trying to concentrate doing a run. Fair enough, look at that. I haven't been doing a few, a bit of speed work down here once or twice. And I'm sure we did an old Hawthorne race years ago. But, uh, Lovely having you with trees, this. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Like I said before, there's not much to talk about. Sunderland may be in a mini league, but the season may be finished with a four team mini league, which means Sunderland won't be promoted. It's a shame. Like I said before, some clubs wanted to finish because they can't afford it to continue, and some clubs wanted to continue because they can afford it, but they need to get promoted. So it's a sticky, strange situation. English Football League have to sort out something sooner rather than later. Right, I'm off to finish. All right, and if I haven't given you a shout out, I do apologize. I'm getting old, tired, and I forgot already. <laughs> well, I'm gonna finish off the rest of my run. Stay safe, everybody, and do that bit of exercise, and we'll catch you next time. I'm getting lost. <laughs> i tell you a story once. I did a run from Eastern College from my house all the way around here. It was supposed to be a 10 mile run, I think it was. And I got to this point, about eight mile in. It was like about six o'clock at night. It was just starting to get dark. And this gate up here, there was two Alsatians, two Dobermans just roaming around. And my history with dogs, there was no way I was going through this gate, going past four dogs. So what I did was, I turned round and I ran another seven mile back. The way I came, it was absolutely pitch black and I nearly broke my neck, but I never ran so fast in my life. <laughs> and I did 14 mile. There we have it. Bit of information today, bit of advice. Don't run past the Alsatians and Dortmunds, especially when there's a gang of them.